thought our guys uh, came out the second half, played very hard. Uh, you know, no question, you know, four turnovers is difficult to win with four turnovers, but uh, we got the job done. The lady on Bell obviously had an outstanding day, you know, 44 rushes, 200 plus yards. Um, you know, defensively, we played outstanding, uh, really. Um, played very well in the red zone, stopped the two field goals in the red zone, and then also uh, had the big interception in the red zone as well. So, uh, tough game, knew it would be a tough game. The thing that was impressive to me was that our players, uh, you know, we responded, we knew we were going to have to grow. We knew we were going to have to play hard and uh, push through some things through adversity. We knew we had some young wide receivers that were going to have to step up and play and make some catches, and we did that. We had some guys that not made it too. You know, we had some guys that dropped some or fumbled some, but that's a part of the game. And uh, the thing that we have to look for is to get better and move forward. Uh, but if you look at the positives, you know, 400 yards, 92 plays, we threw the ball for 200, ran the ball for over 200 or near 200, ran the ball over 200. Uh, possession time is very much in our favor, 30, numbers 40 to 20. Uh, they have 56 plays for 200 yards. But uh, the one thing we have to, we have two things we have to stop are you know, the unforced penalties and, uh, you know, the turnovers. But we live on, okay? And, uh, you know, the goal is to win a football game. So a great play calling that last uh, drive down the stretch. Uh, where we where we scored and then came back and had a six minute drive and really just took the air out of the ball and that was impressive. That was something that we needed to be able to do. So with that, I'll just take some questions. Mark, bigger picture, what does this game do for the players individually and as a collective unit moving forward? I mean, how important and critical is it to get a game like this under the belts early? Well, there was a sign up in our building. I think George Burris said it. They all count one. And right now we're one and zero. We go to Central next week. And uh, so that'll be exciting for us, I think. Uh, you know, we get back playing again. Um, so that's the that's the main thing. We played a tough Boise State team, a team that remember now has, has beaten Oregon, Virginia Tech, Georgia on the road. So they're used to winning. They're confident. They're very well coached. Uh, Coach Peterson does an outstanding job. They were 73 and six or 71 and six. I can't remember. 70 something and six coming into the game. So. Uh, to get a win period is an accomplishment. Uh, you know, we've won 15 straight here at Spartan Stadium. You know, very, very proud of our football team, how we responded and how we continue to play. Because these type of games with the turnovers have a way of deflating you. And a big play all of a sudden goes and becomes a turnover. has a way of deflating a sideline and deflating a football team. And, uh, you know, things just kept happening. So, uh, you know, going into the fourth quarter, they were ahead. We needed the fourth last two drives to win the football game. And we got them. And that's what's the impressive thing to me. We reached out and uh, guys grew up a little bit. We grew up. Mark, that's what we have to do. What did you see from Andrew tonight in terms of, you know, a lot of things going on in the first half, but sticking with it and, and continuing yeah. the second half to play for it. Just kept helping and play. You know, there's going to be a learning curve here. You know, uh, you know, we have one ball tip for an interception. You know, one ball really dropped for an interception. And he threw one back four ball. So, uh, you know, and then he put a couple of the money that were dropped and he had a couple bad throws, but it's a team game. Um, you know, got pressured sometimes, so, uh, but, you know, I thought he played, I thought he threw the ball pretty well, really. Are you talking about I'm sorry, the defense on a couple of those turnovers, how they were able to keep uh, Boise out of the end zone on the field goals, how important that was? You no, know, it's critical in the football game, you know, to be able to keep it out of the end zone. Our coach introduced the staff, did a great job. Our guys responded, played very, very well. I mean, really played very near shutout football. Uh, you know, against a, a football team that averages over 40 points a game, almost traditional. Uh, so uh, you know, that was a that was a huge statistic in the game. There's no question. They played well defensively. I thought we tackled pretty well in space. I guess they caught a fade on us, and uh, they had a trick play on us. Take away those two plays, which you can. But you know, the bread you know the bread and butter plays were played pretty effectively. What kind of what kind of statement do you think this makes for Michigan State with the levy on, especially in the national spotlight shining on you and kind of a captive audience? Well, you know, we, we said that this was going to be a media, you know, a game for that was going to be, have a lot of media exposure. And I think that uh, we played, we had to play in that environment. Our young players had to play in that environment. Great, great, uh, outstanding uh, crowd. I lost myself there. <laughs> crowd. Uh, out there, uh, you know, just just great crowd, great atmosphere, very interactive. I thought uh, so. You know, it, it helps when you play at the, on a big stage. I think it helps everybody. And 
you know, we were fortunate to win. We made the plays to win down the stretch. And uh, no credit Boise for making it close and keep, keeping it close and they kept playing. You know, they made plays down the field.